W Radio, your information station. Hi, this is Lou Mangello from WDW Radio. Oftentimes, when we talk about Walt Disney World and some of its overlooked experiences, we're talking about attractions or shows, sometimes restaurants, but not often enough do we talk about some of its people because the cast members are really what make the magic in Walt Disney World. And sometimes some of those overlooked experiences unfortunately go away. And that's true with my next guest. And you know him, you've seen him, simply as Art the Greeter here at Disney's Beach Club Resort. Art, Thank welcome you. to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's good to see you all. I'm just glad to, uh, glad to just have my opportunity to just talk with uh, maybe some of my friends, talk with someone uh, who may be, uh, be able to maybe express some of the things that I just, um, just have uh, inside so much how much uh, I've been just blessed by the job, how much people have put into me, how much they have, you know, enriched my life. You know, this job to me is the job of a lifetime. Uh, I don't think very, few, very often you find a job just like a perfect fit. It's like I've never had a bad day. I never woke up saying I didn't want to come. I never got, never uh, left in the afternoon, said I didn't want to come back. And it's always been like, uh, I call it a triple E ticket ride. That's the only way I can describe it. <laughs> I like, that, I like it. the reference. And, and let's sort of, sort of take a step back. Tell us, you've been here for a while now. Uh -huh. Tell us how long you've been here and how you got this position and really describe what your, your, your role is in the cast. Because okay. I call it, you just basically make magic for people every day. Well, I just, I just love what I do. Um, I started at the Magic Kingdom, and I was working in the Hall of Presidents. And uh, I left the Hall of Presidents, and I went to the Jungle Cruise. When I first started working here, and I started looking at the, the facility, I looked at the, uh, the, the rate sheet, and I looked at things. I said, well, you know, you have to treat guests really special here for some place like this and, and, and the prices and everything they're paying. So, I, uh, when they came to my position, I had every map of Magic Kingdom, Epcot, <laughs> MGM Studios. I had the map of the resort <laughs> open, and, and we stood there and we were talking and everything. And, and uh, one of the uh, one of the cast members said one day, "Say, all right, twenty minutes for a check-in, come on." <laughs> so, so, but I didn't know I was doing anything wrong. I thought I was, you know, I thought that was what you were supposed to do. Shortly after that, they were opening up Wilderness Lodge, and the greeter here wanted to leave to open it up. And the manager here at the time, Brian was his name, I never forget him, and he said, Art, would you like to, like to do the greeter? I had never seen a greeter. I had never seen a greeter. I didn't know what they did, but I, he brought me out. He introduced me to Ken, was the gentleman that was here. And when I looked at everything, I said, I'm not going to like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I asked him, I said, do you mind if you, if you would hold a position open at front desk, but if I don't like it, don't come back. He said, sure. Uh, I started working out here. I was trained for two weeks. And when I started working out here, after two weeks, it was like somebody put a hand in a glove. I'm sorry. It's like somebody put a hand in a glove. And it's been like that ever since. I have, uh, again, I'm the one who has benefited. I remember one of the things that really got me introduced to what Disney was really all about was we were standing in the, in the uh, Hall of Presidents one morning and uh, we was uh, watching and they dropped the ropes and we saw the kids just flying by us, you know, and uh, the adults running behind them. And I said, oh, look, I said, the, the adults are trying to stop the kids from running. She said, no, 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 you don't get it. I said, what do you mean? She said, the adults are trying to beat the kids to Splash Mountain. <laughs> so that's the first time I understood what Disney was really all about. And your job, your role is important because you are the very first person, most the first cast member that people are going to see when they get out of their car, when they get out of their taxi, when they get out of the bus or Magical Express and you instantly, you greet them with a smile and you make them feel, hey, you know what? You're home and it's okay to be a kid again. Exactly, exactly. I, I think, I, uh, lately I've, I've uh, you know, I had a couple of things, I see them coming in, I said, uh, sir, uh, the game face belongs on the field. 
uh, not on vacation. <laughs> you know, so, you know, they get it and they laugh. But it's very know? disarming because it doesn't make them laugh right off the bat. It makes them see what they look like walking in, you know, and they understand. That's you on vacation. You're on vacation. I, I, uh, um, I just find little things to say uh, that that kind of kind of help them to enjoy themselves. I have always, I don't know, you know, how it came about, but I've always had the desire to see others enjoy themselves. I've always loved to see people really having fun, not pretend fun, fun, you know? And sometimes it don't take anything but walking barefooted through the park because everything else requires shoes. You're on vacation, you walk barefooted. You're on vacation, wear that old floppy hat. Get the picture, get the autograph, you know? It's, it's like everybody in the family should have something to brag about when they go home. Not just the kids, the adults too. <laughs> well, you know what too? You can see that this is not this is not about a paycheck. It's not about clocking in and clocking out. This is something that you just love doing and you're passionate about. And unfortunately for us as guests, yeah. after how many years, you're, you're leaving us very, yeah. very soon. Well, six, after 16 years, I'm leaving. And, and it's like, you know, uh, it has been something that has been sort of like I've been thinking about for um, oh, almost two years now, but I didn't want to go. <laughs> if you're genuine, if, and they can tell when you're not, if you're genuine, and if, you, if they really see that you honestly mean it, they'll come and they'll talk and, and, and they share things. They, 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 I, they have taught me so much I have had. Just, it, it's you, the, the, the education that they have given me is priceless, priceless. So, so when they say that they're gonna miss me, I'm gonna miss them terribly. <laughs> well, you, you use the word that I was thinking in my mind, which was genuine, because it's not like you put on a costume and you take a role and, and are just going through the motions. You can see that how you feel about these people and what you do is a genuine love for it. It is, it is genuine and I have a standard that I put for myself and I, and I try to recommend to others whenever I have an opportunity and that being mediocrity is unacceptable on any level, doing anything, anybody can be mediocre. So let me ask you this, you, you certainly, no one can replace Art the Greeter. Um, well, you no, know, because you are, you're a fixture here. You're a fixture here at the Beach Club. However, if you were to tell somebody who was to come in and take the role of the Greeter, what kind of advice, what, what would you leave them as the most important thing they need to do in, in assuming that position? Uh, if somebody comes through and they're not, uh, not very kind or something like that, you have to let that roll off your back like water off a duck's back. If you cannot greet, the guests behind them with the same enthusiasm that you greeted them with, this job is not for you. This job is not for you. If you cannot, in that instance, let that roll off, and the next guest, you greet them with just as much enthusiasm, just as much joy, just as much everything you greeted them with, the job is not for you. You said to me before that, you know, some jobs just fit like a glove, and this one was definitely designed for you, it and was. it's not for me to speak on behalf of, but I but on, I will, because on behalf of the tens of thousands of lives that you have affected yeah. and smiles that you've put on faces of kids and kids at heart, yeah. um, I want you to know that you will be missed and people are very thankful I for all your so years much. of service I and help. Thank you so much and I just want to want to say to to anyone who hears that I am so appreciative. I am so appreciative of what you have done for me. Uh, I'm appreciative. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's all right, and and we we are appreciative of you too. And I, uh, I, I'm just. <laughs> I, I want to wish you all the best in, in your retirement, and I hope that you meet people in the in the rest of your life that continue to put the smiles on the face that you've put on others. It's 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 been it's been an experience like. You wouldn't believe. You just. Your face speaks volumes. You don't need to say a word. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all that you've done. Very much appreciated. Thank you.